Smolderon is a pure single target, late raid, gear check. He has two alternating phases which he enters upon reaching 100 energy. The boss will often combo mechanics together, leading to chaotic overlaps. The main mechanic of phase 1 is Brand of Damnation. Smolderon will target the current tank and create a soak area on them. This will deal giga physical damage and apply Searing Aftermath, a drop off damage debuff to the primary target. Additionally, all players hit will also take giga split fire damage and be affected by Cauterizing Wound, a huge absorb shield that when removed, creates a swirly you need to move out of. Players will also be debuffed with Ember Scar's Mark, increasing their damage taken by Brand of Damnation by 500% for the rest of that phase. You need to have at least 4 players soak this, or you'll take a bunch of damage and the boss will get a damage buff. Right before Brand of Damnation occurs, half of your array will be debuffed with Overheated. Overheated is a 10 second debuff that deals damage to players within 5 yards. When it expires, those players will explode, dealing even more damage and expelling flame waves from the front and both sides of where their character is facing. Ideally, you want those players to move towards the edge of the room and face their characters away last second, then have to worry about dodging flame waves. You want to have the players who didn't get overheated soak the Brand of Damnation to reduce the amount of chaos present in the fight. Smolderon will spawn Lava Geysers under random players' locations. This will create smoldering ground, which will remain for the rest of the fight. You want to try to group up and bait this to increase the amount of space you'll have to work with. When Smolderon reaches 100 energy, he'll begin Phase 2. He'll walk to the center of the room, gain a stack of Heating Up, cast Devour Essence, and then begin channeling World in Flames. While channeling World in Flames, he'll gain the Blazing Soul buff, increasing the damage and frequency of his passive Blistering Heat mechanic. Any players who soaked Brand of Damnation in Phase 1, which should be everybody, will release 5 Living Flames, not the Evoker ability, orbs, from their body, that will slowly move towards the boss. Soaking these orbs will give the player a 20% damage and 10% healing done buff for 20 seconds. You want to ideally soak all of them at once, because the duration of this doesn't stack, so you could miss out on a bigger damage buff if you try to stagger it. Additionally, if any of these are not soaked before they reach the boss, he will gain a permanent 3% damage done buff for the rest of the fight. I want to mention that everyone gets their own orbs to soak, and these are personal, so make sure you soak your own ASAP. World in Flames is sort of a dance type mechanic. Smolderon will surround himself with ever-changing rings of fire with a couple safe zones to stand in. This dance changes each time he casts World in Flames, and if you get hit, you'll get a nasty dot. When he finishes channeling World in Flames, he'll return to Phase 1. However, after Smolderon reaches 100 energy 4 times and finishes channeling World in Flames, he'll leap into the center of the room and cast Encroaching Destruction. This is reminiscent of Razageth P3 or Painsmith. Smolderon will slowly detonate Encroaching Rings of Fire until it reaches the middle of the room and you die. That sums up the fight on Heroic. On Mythic, there are a few changes. The most notable of which is a new mechanic, Seeking Inferno. After Lava Geyser is cast, three orbs will spawn that will fixate on random players and move towards them. When that player touches the orb, it will detonate, dealing a moderate amount of damage to the raid and increasing the damage that everyone takes from Seeking Inferno by 500% for 3 seconds. In addition, any players who are fixated who touch the orb will get a dot. You want to coordinate calling out players to soak the orb, but still giving time for healers to heal up the damage in between and letting the debuff fall off. The tricky part of this mechanic is that it is a private aura, making it difficult to track which players have it. And finally, Overheated will now spawn more flame waves when it expires, completely encompassing every direction of your character. The TLDR for this fight is as follows. In P1, if you don't have Overheated, soak Brand of Damnation. Tanks move away with Searing Aftermath. Face your characters towards the edge of the room as Overheated expires. And group up to bait Lava Geysers. In P2, soak your Living Flame Orbs and dodge World in Flames. And finally on Mythic, soak Seeking Inferno, making sure to let the debuff fall off in between. As always, thank you for watching, and if you want to learn how to defeat the next boss, Tindril, make sure to tune in to the next video.